I've been thinking about Paris Press Paris again. Rides like this are for me a tale of three cities. The first one's audacity. The boldness you need to start a journey of a thousand miles of a single step. And to dare to do something different. There's another sense to the idea of audacity though. That of having the effrontery to do something. Displaying a single mindedness that defies criticism. And using the misconceptions of others as fuel for your own endeavours. This was the highlight of my year. So I'm going to wind down after this. And then I'll plan for next year at the beginning of next year. Do you fancy taking on the PBP on one? You know, it's not really on my list of to-dos. Right. But you never say never. No, never say never. Yeah. The road leads on to capacity. The ability to be able to take these tasks on. See, I did 100k in uh, Switzerland about 10 years ago. Yeah. A 100k running. Yeah. That was tough. This was much harder. Much, much, much harder. The hardest thing you've done? I think so. Now you've had an easy life. <laughs> no. You win! <laughs> then there's tenacity. The ability to stick with things. What does Tracy reckon to her first experience of this bonkers idea of riding overnight? Oh, I've ridden overnight before. You've ridden overnight before? Yes, but you'll need to ask me in a couple of days what I think to it. Some are exploring their own tenacity. Others have been there, done it and got the t-shirt. One aspect of tenacity is a desire to keep coming back for more. So, so Judith, is this some sort of PBP plan? We've heard that you're going to be doing it on a tandem. Is this the tandem? We couldn't possibly come in. No. We couldn't possibly but this seems to be going quite well, this experiment, doesn't it? This yeah. is top secret. Well, we're on a personal best at the moment. Well, this it all seems like a carefully worked out plan and I'm very impressed. Well, that's all over the interwebs now. The organisation of PBP describes these people as recidivists. Those gluttons for punishment who keep on coming back for more. When did you first do this? Um, the first one. 1989. 89. In, oh. fact, in fact, my brevet number is 00001. Wow. Of LRM, yeah. My God. It's often fascinating to see what these people will put themselves through. Well, it's buckle joint, it's, I, don't, I don't know what it is, it's like the bone inside my leg has got a knife sticking out of it. Yeah, kind of like hot ankle. <laughs> Beyond, I'll tell you what, it, try, it makes childbirth look easy. Yeah? Yeah, it hurts so much more. I'm not kidding you. Audax occupies one of the spaces between these three cities. Audacity, capacity and tenacity. It has that in common with a lot of endurance sports. The difference is that we don't concentrate on the winners so much. Ian was saying that if you win, you're going to give it up and start Audax again. I jo I've joined Audax. Yeah. I'm, I'm Audax and Jenny, Jenny and I have joined Audax to do PvP. Ah, have you done it before? Huh? Have you done oh PvP God. before? No, no, never. Oh, Has he got 482? Yeah. yeah. 50? Yeah. <laughs> 482, 481 and a half. He's, he's got a little bit, 482 points something, you know. Yeah. But he, he, half a mile. Yeah. I look forward to checking in at San Quentin again. It's a sort of duty, really. So you're ready for it then, John? Yes. No? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Amazing what people put themselves through, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> why? <laughs> I could have, I could have taken why out my stamp collecting. <laughs> I could be crocheting bike covers. <laughs> but no. Why do we do it? Because, because we can. We can. Yeah. Because we can, yeah, use it or lose it. Yeah.